So back at it again. It is time to get the last pieces for the ship. Maybe do, should I go to the sunbeam arrival? Should should I? It is an option. We can do that. But we don't have to. Blueprints. Where is the good thing? Cyclops. I need lead. And the advanced wire wiring kit. and a computer chip. Copper wire. I hope I have enough copper for that. Uh. Or gold. So frustrating. At when advanced wiring kit. I only need lubricant and two lead. Come on, lubricant and lead. I need lead two times. Let me drop one titanium. Perfect. to see my base from here what, what is it yeah it's the moon pool I'm seeing from from over there some of the lubricant for later craftings if you know what I mean <clears throat> I got everything oh this will be fun this will be fun Advised. This 
Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three person crew. <laughs> Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Yeah, good that we have our three men for the screw. And the, the way how it drops is so satisfying. And just to give you guys a little hint with this one. Sea is sinking. How far can we go with this one? Five hundred meters, perfect. We will get. Should turn off the engines. So we don't waste too much power. And we will build. Just to give an example, we will build like a shit ton of lockers in here. Like wall lockers. What do they take? Just, just a shit ton of titanium. I'll, I'll. <laughs> it might sound funny to you, but that's literally what you do with this one. You just put a shit ton of lockers in this thing, so you can store like everything, literally everything. Because one of the things you notice when driving the Cyclops is you never have enough space to take a lot of stuff with you. And that's what you exactly want to have. As much stuff as possible with you. Also, if I have the time, I will build one. You have six power batteries you can put there. Like one of these big batteries. And you will just straight up build as many as you can of these uh, like one replacement parent if you get the later on power uh, power batteries that are nuclear powered there's no problem Cyclops upgrades I need to find the depth modules There's a good amount of space.
Boom. That's what you want to do. Rows and rows of lockers. So this is it. One of the best vehicles you can ever have. Oh yes, we need to find the Seamoth uh, depth module. Do we have number one? No, we don't have the depth module one. So we need to find the depth modules for all of these. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. We're getting to the landing zone. It's also really hard to destroy this ship. So we can mark the other alien island. And then we, we have to watch out where we find the stuff. It could be that uh, at some point we'll probably like something like print out a map, a chart of this game world because it is really confusing this place and there's a lot of shipwrecks that I want to uh, check out. And that would be impossible just by trying to um, map it out with the beacon things and all. I'll try my best not to do anything like that. But at some point, it's it's no game fun if you don't find the things. Because uh, in my first playthrough, when I ever played that game, I found like almost everything just with a map. And there's like, you get a lot of stuff you want to have. Like a lot of stuff that is useful. Like the depth modules are found probably most likely by accident. That, that is kind of true. But if we're talking about else things, like most of them are just found with the chart. I think like I found a sonar module. I think this is just a module that is basic to every ship. Like I want to have that. The sonar sonar one. You will you will want that. Anyways, I'll end this part. I just noticed the timer. Until then, see ya.